I'm just in love with watercolor. What I love about it is what most people hate. And that is, it's unpredictable. It has its own objectives. The thing about watercolor is more moving parts. You have the paper and then you have the water. How much water are you using? Do you have the water on the paper first or do, are you painting on dry paper? Completely different results. That's what I love. And that's what other people hate. My paintings are very colorful most of the time, so I usually tend to exaggerate the color. I like to get the feeling of a place or a thing, mood, and that's what I use my colors for often. I love aspen trees and trees in general. You probably see if you look at my body of work, there's a lot of trees. I love to paint flowers too and birds. Everything I paint is nature inspired, I'd say. I try to paint almost every day. You have to paint from light to dark in general. You can break those rules. You can break all rules, but it's good to know them before you break them. I love the beginning. I just put colors on, they flow, they mix and mingle, and I observe what's happening. It gives me ideas, it inspires me. And I've found that if I just let go of my initial thought of what this painting was gonna be, and then just go with where it's taking me, I get a really good painting. I always tell my students, it's miles on the brush, I always uh, like to experiment and just being out in nature, that is very inspirational to me and being here in my garden. I am from Denmark originally. I moved to the United States, more specifically California, many, many years ago. I lived on the Monterey Peninsula for 20 years and then I moved up here to Truckee about 10 years ago now and I've been here since and I love it here. I was in the United States uh, senior year of my high school. I spent in the Chicago area as an exchange student and I loved it and I got to visit California twice. I love the way we have the seasons up here. We have real summer, beautiful fall, I love the fall. I love snow and winter, not the Danish version, which is kind of like the British version, kind of like fog and cold and damp and rainy and you don't see the sun for three weeks. No, don't miss that. But the way we have winter here, it's bright and cold and crisp and sparkly. And then, you know, you get a snowstorm and nobody can do anything. And I really love that. You know, Mother Nature is just forcing us to just chill. And I need to get that reminder once in a while. Started painting because I started kayaking. I wanted to go like on kayak expeditions in different places of the world. You can't really bring uh, your computer or expensive camera. And so I thought, wouldn't it be neat if I had a little journal and I could do some little sketches? Then I bought myself a little watercolor kit and a little sketchbook and I got started. I had not taken any classes or anything like that. Pretty soon I got obsessed with watercolor. <laughs> And so I started to first take some local classes. At the time, I lived on the Monterey Peninsula. And so there's lots of artists there. So I just joined a group and they were painting outdoors, you know, on location. And some of them were like really exceptional painters and I felt like a complete idiot. <laughs> I muddled through and I started taking workshops from various and sundry um, art instructors. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs>